Hello YouTube. Welcome back from my stoop, although today my stoop is definitely not my uh, usual stoop, as you can see. But like I promised you, I'm going to do a video here from Cape Town where I'm currently. And I thought of uh, picking a good spot for this video. So at the backdrop you can see Table Mountain and I, I'll give you a walker, walker about in a few minutes time. Um, but today's video I would like to uh, respond to uh, someone, and I can't remember who it was and I was trying to look for it but I can't, couldn't find it. Um, but I would like to respond today on an old issue again, also a very uh, contested issue, a very um, ambiguous issue, and that is the health or not of pipe smoking. Um, so yeah, um, but maybe I must just first start with a disclaimer uh, by saying I am not a doctor and I am not a qualified uh, researcher, so um, uh, I'm not trying to uh, to pretend that I've got the final answer or only answer or even an answer at all. I might be as wrong as you can get. Um, but uh, yeah, that is my, my opinion which I would like to give you. By the way, I'm having a, a Mississippi River in my old trust, trusted friend from 1980, uh, George Jensen. Very nice pipe and it holds very nice. Uh, so my opinion, first the, disla yeah, the disclaimer I gave you, know, that is um, that I'm not uh, uh, not trying to say that I, that I know it all or that I know anything at all. Uh, and I know a lot of people will even differ from me, which is fine. But uh, to me, and, and I might have said this in a in a previous video, but to me, it is um, the whole medical slash uh, cancer slash health issue of smoking a pipe um, is in itself. A difficult issue and as I said in a previous video also I'm a very much holistic thinker which means that um, and maybe just to look you in the eyes I'm going to put on my sunglasses so that I can uh, have a look at you a bit more uh, directly um, the one thing about pipe smoking to me and everything in life is is as I said I'm a I'm a holistic thinker um, just being, you know, just our, our bodies and our, and our beings are so much more complex than singling out one or two or three factors uh, in determining certain things in life uh, is, is, you know, not necessarily the only answer. For example, um, to say that, you know, one thing gives cancer, um, it, it, you know, if there's, in my mind, uh, any doubt uh, of other situations which does not uh, w um, validate that claim, then it, it proves to me that there's more than you know than only one thing. For uh, um, and and I'll give you another example: the whole lung lung cancer thing. We all know that that cigarettes and smoking gives you lung cancer or uh, has a very high uh, risk for lung cancer. But then there's this research that I've read of Japanese people who are apparently the, the highest smoking population, um, cigarette smoking population per capita in the, in, in the world, although they have the lowest lung cancer uh, rate in the world. Now, why would that be? Um, it, it tells me, again, that there are things that you need to also counter into, 
into such an, 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 an argument. Another example which I can give you is the whole story about cholesterol and fat in one's blood. Um, and uh, yes, uh, lamb fat or, or, or uh, animal fat does has the risk of clotting your, your veins and, and producing cholesterol. But our forefathers and, and our grandparents and grand-grandparents who lived on farms and who lived from the lamb that they slaughtered on the farm for, you know, for their, their own provisioning, um, they, they didn't necessarily die from cholesterol. And they ate, I visited the farm one, one uh, weekend and we had lamb morning for breakfast, lunch and, and dinner. So it made me think again, what is compelling factors that causes cholesterol in city dwellers, a highly industrialized, uh, stressful life uh, with lamb fat, which does not necessarily happen on a farm. All right, I think you've got my point. Um, so in terms of, of smoking, uh, pipe smoking, um, and I've read a few articles and I, would, I will put the links on, onto it. Um, there was just a few interesting things that I, that I read, but in short, my opinion is uh, pipe smoking is definitely not as dangerous or risky than cigarette smoking. Secondly, everything we do, we should do in moderation, whether it's alcohol, whether it's smoking, whether it's eating, whether it's chocolate. Um, you know, do it in moderation because there are things in, in those food, junk food and hamburgers and uh, modified foods and starches and uh, preservatives that are also not necessarily good for us. So if we do whatever we do in moderation, uh, it takes the risk down. Thirdly, life is about risks. There's always risks. I can live as healthy as I can and be killed by a crazy gunner. Not that I'm saying now that we should go crazy and, uh, and do all the risky things, but you know, everything, every decision we take is a, is a calculated risk management decision. So in terms of our, of our lives, we uh, measure up the risks and the appetite for risk, and then we decide I'll go for it or, or I won't go for it. And if others don't want to go for it, that's cool. But if I do, then that's fine. Someone who uh, who wants to condemn me because I'm smoking a pipe might um, do other things which is very detrimental to their health um, and uh, just because there's no government political issue about smoking about those things that they do that's bad to their health uh, doesn't m mean that it's less uh, better or worse so uh, yeah, so, so it's all about the risk taking, I think, um, and making an a, a informed decision. But let me, uh, let me just uh, t tell you some interesting things which I, which I picked up, which to me was actually very interesting. For example, the one thing is um, uh, pipe smokers uh, the risk, the primary risk was not lungs, um, but tongue and mouth diseases. And uh, if lung cancer, uh, the, uh, the research that, that was done, uh, they gave non-smokers in terms of lung cancer uh, the base number of one. Cigarettes, 20 grams per day, will raise your risk 16 times. Uh, cigar, 20 grams per day, will raise your risk 3.2 times. Uh, 10 bowls per day six times, five bowls per day th a pipe three times, um, and two bowls, uh, one bowl a day, or, uh, or yeah, yeah, one bowl a day will, will raise your, your risk only 1.05 times, which means that you are very close to a non smoker in terms of risk for lung cancer. Uh, bladder cancer, 
non-smoker again the the base one cigarette is 3.5 and pipe is 1.9 um, so life expectancy of pipe smokers a US Surgeon General report uh, number 1103 noted and I'm, and I'm and I'm quoting here death rates for current pipe smokers were little if at all higher than for non-smokers even with men smoking 10 pipe fools per day and with men who had smoked pipes for more than 30 years on page 92 of the same report it also states that pipe smokers who inhale live as long as non-smokers pipe smokers that don't inhale might even live longer than non-smokers now again the the report surely doesn't want to say that we should now smoke, smoke, uh, smoke a pipe and that there's no danger in, in pipe smoking I don't think that's what they say and I wouldn't also want to say that I'm just saying that um, there are definitely res less risk involved in smoking a pipe less unhealthy than smoking a cigarette or even a cigar um, not the, the the, the, per, the, the perfect um, health decision, obvious, but not the most unhealthy one. Again, look at, at an holistic uh, approach uh, on another article, and I'm not going to refer to it now because uh, I want to show you a little bit about Cape Town also. But another article mentioned, for example, that um, uh, if you do pipe smoking or pipe smokers have a tendency of less stress more relaxed, uh, more coping mechanism in terms of stress and things. So um, that's that proves my point of holistic thinking. There are things involved which makes pipe smoking then less dangerous, um, not totally harm, harmless, but definitely uh, less dangerous than smoking cigarettes. Uh, and if you don't inhale, even better. But again, moderation. Um, so, yeah, on that note, uh, friends, um, I'm going to pause the camera and then give you just a walk about uh, on Cape Town, so as you can see how beautiful day this is and uh, and how, how beautiful Cape Town is. Um, yeah, so. A little bit windy, so uh, not that easy or lacquer to have a pipe. Um, also, just before I, I greet you, I had a chance to, to meet Charles Gossard face to face this week. Uh, obviously, we've spoken on the telephone and emails and forums for quite a while. But uh, it was very nice to meet him and uh, and have a chat with him and visit him and have, have a look at his uh, pipe making uh, processes. And I also had a chance to meet uh, meet up with some other local uh, pipe smoker who is uh, uh, into refurbishing old pipes, Sergeant Deathstroke. So it was very nice also to meet him, very uh, friendly and. Uh, uh, very nice guy so uh, yeah so to all all of you and uh, thank you for smoking and subscribe please and uh, again leave comments and I think there will be a lot of comments and uh, uh, I hope you enjoy enjoyed this video also at the end so uh, yeah I'm gonna pause it now and then I'm, I'll, I'll give you just a quick uh, a quick walkabout on this beautiful country of ours uh, or one piece of it thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and please leave your comments and keep on smoking and enjoy your day thank you bye bye okay YouTube um, so uh, that is the famous table mountain and there's a cable car that you can use uh, to go up there we've often done that when I was staying here um, to have a sundowner with a lot of nice champagne on, on Table Mountain. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and then this would be Cape Town. So, uh, quite a nice 
busy town. Uh, the founding town of South Africa or city. Uh, those three flats that you see there at the background, we call them the to toilet rolls. <laughs> and uh, there is the Cape Peninsula, in other words, a, uh, actually on a nice day you can see the other, the other, the other sea, the Indian Ocean, no, Atlantic, all this one here on the left hand side is the Atlantic Ocean, I'll see if we can see it there today. There's the harbour, uh, busy harbour also in South Africa, and uh, there at the other top, at the other side, is a few very nice beaches and uh, uh, holiday resorts, and you have a, at one of them you've got one of the most perfect views of Table Mountain from there. And if you follow the soccer 2010, uh, you probably would have seen that that uh, uh, stadium, that is the Greenpoint Stadium. Um, so, also very nice there. With a nice golf course here at uh, Sea Point and Greenpoint. And then uh, anyone knowing anything about South Africa's history will uh, will know that we had Mandela on Robben Island which was a prison island uh, during apartheid which is there that is Robben Island the famous Robben Island and uh, as you can see difficult to escape from there to anywhere, especially in this cold water. Uh, the, this water is colder than uh, the other side. Uh, I'm not a cameraman, so excuse the, the uh, haphazard uh, photography, cinema they call that. So I'm going to pause again so that I can show you the other side where Sea Point is uh, and which is also a very popular holiday destination. Uh, but this is a near 270 degree view of Cape Town and surroundings with Robben Island there in the far distance and some hang gliding uh, that's on my bucket list I'm sure that would be one of the very nice uh, exercises or activities to do around here uh, there's a selfie <laughs> on that one Uh, I also couldn't uh, take my tripod with me, so that would also affect the quality of, uh, of the stillness of my camera. So around the around this corner, I'm now on, on Signal Hill. If you want to have a look on a map, around the corner we get. Uh, Green Point and then Sea Point. Sea Point is a very nice neighborhood, a very expensive neighborhood also, with very nice beaches. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you to that area. And then there's uh, a pl plenty other very beautiful. Uh, lookout points where I could have uh, gone but uh, I thought this one would give you a, a very nice 270 360 degree view of, uh, of Cape Town. I'm just gonna pause again for a few minutes catch my breath 
and to get back to the other point where I would like to to take you to. Right, so uh, a lot of tourists here today. So this will be the last snap view of uh, the other side of the mountain and of Sea Point Cape Town. Island is now a museum uh, of the apartheid time in our country. So, uh, yeah, so that is our beautiful Cape Town. Thank you for watching and uh, 